Hey, how's it going? This is Henry here responding to your request for a quick video on how you can get more exposure online. So currently I'm on your website for listfreight.net. So right up top, I like you got your address listed here. You got clickable, you got a phone number at the top as well. You mentioned lift freight. These are some nice pictures you have. It's a nice simple page as well, too. Let's go yeah, you got a map right there as well. Um, so one thing that I'm not seeing is a clear call to action. Anytime you have a website, think to yourself, what's the first action you want the user to take? So you want to make sure they have a means to contact you. It's good how you have the phone number at the top. But right here, it looks like it's actually impartial because it says here telephone 5938. It doesn't go to the whole phone number. You want to have that clickable phone number on the top left-hand side of the page. A user's eyes always start at the top left. They see that phone number first thing they'll know to call you and then when they make their way to the right you want to have a contact form so they can reach you via email and right above it you can say something like get a free shipping quote or get a free shipping estimate that'll give them more incentive to fill it out and um, another thing too you definitely want to have a little bit we'll have, uh, more content as well too we'll get more into that later but here's what happens when somebody searches for freight and at, at Elisa Iowa where you are First thing that we see is the map portion of Google, the top three people that the most traffic. So we got Adelisa Trucking, Morrison Trucking, as well as JD May Loan Trucking Inc. This looks like a good opportunity for you to rank because JD May Loan's missing a website. So only these two guys have it. Once we move down, we get into the uh, organic section. This is where you, another spot where you want to have traffic. So it looks like a lot of different pages here. We got quick transportation solutions operating under that let's see yelp because we'll start we'll go to adelisa trucking later because they're the first because they appear in maps here's some google search stats for you page one accounts for 91 and a half percent of the search traffic see there's a drop off when you go to page two goes all the way down to 4.8 percent like if business is not found on page one it's gonna be much harder from to be found on google and 47 percent of the time a search is conducted it is for a business service but not all traffic on page one is created equal. As you see, the top three spots get the most traffic. There's a huge, there's a 30% difference between that first spot and last spot. That first spot gets like that much more traffic. So it's crucial to have one of those top three spots. If you've got a top three organic spots going with the top three map listing, you have a lot of traffic coming away. More website visitors you'll get when turn leads to more phone calls, more customer inquiries. And then with that extra revenue you get from those extra customers, you can use that to expand the business. Even further, some businesses, by having positions on page one, have added thousands to millions of dollars, depending on the nature of the business, of extra revenue. So let's see here. Let's take a look into Morrison Trucking. So you see here, they have like a simple site. They mentioned hauling, demolition, excavation. Do we hear like pure trucking? So there must not be many trucking companies in the area if Morrison Trucking was ranked here for. And the maps for this I mean that their trucking is in their name though, but it doesn't look like they are a pure trucking company. But what Google looks for in ranking a site, it's good to have a nice looking site. You want to have authoritative content. You have as much information as possible about freights and trucks as possible. You want to be the Wikipedia of that in Adelisa. So, so, so what you want to do, you want to have at least a thousand words on your homepage and then each service page have at least 500 words or more. The more words, the better on each page, though. So another avenue you can add more content about trucking is through blogs, giving your thoughts and opinions on everything related to trucking. So another avenue to add more info. And even, too, you can make location pages as well. It's another thing. We'll look into that a little bit later. And while having lots of great authoritative content is very essential, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Another thing you'll need to rank are backlinks. A backlink is when you put your website and gone to another website and all backlinks create equal some are more powerful than others getting a website to the top of google similar to being a kid at school is trying to rise up in popularity yeah um it looks like a kid could have great looks great personality both to the point if they're not getting those votes of confidence so let's say for example we're gonna call the top trucking publication of truckingtimes.com they wrote an article about how good you are they gave you a good review they had your website link on there and they gave you a follow Google will see that and be like, oh, truckingtimes.com likes liftfreight.net. We're going to move off the rankings. They're going to find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. But if you put your website link onto 
a new site called Joe's Trucking.com and they gave you a follow Google see and be like, oh, who's Joe's Trucking? And they like uh, Lyft Freight. We're going to leave the ranking the way it is. Their opinion doesn't carry much weight. We're going to a tool now called Ahrefs. So here's an overview for your. This gives you an overview of any website, how it does on the search engine. So here's an overview for you. So you mentioned Lyft Freight in the headline. After that, you want to mention like long distance trucking or long distance hauling, whatever you do. So right now, you're only getting, it says you're getting nine visitors a month. You're appearing for two keyword searches and you have two backlinks. So back with backlinks, you want to make sure that you're getting sites that are as relevant as possible to what you do. So that includes trucking, Iowa, freight, logistics. And we're going to take a look at some of the keywords that you're ranking for. So lift freight and get lift quote. You're at position three here, so a lot of your traffic is generated from this one keyword. You want to appear for other keywords too, so even like transportation services, uh, lit, um, freight. You want to appear for like the freight Iowa. Also, yeah, just eat the yeah, trucks. Think of all the goods you want to transport to. That could be computer parts or it could be farmed goods. Think about all the things, all the items that you want to transport to. It can be a keyword for that too. We'll take a look at the backlinks as well. So you see connect to local. And that looks like the only ones. You want to have, like I said, just get as many relevant links as possible. Now let's take a look here at Morrison Trucking. So they don't have any backlinks right now. They only appear for five keywords. So their website's not as strong as we thought it was. And well, another thing with backlinks too, you can usually see who your competitors are linking to and try to link up to the same sites. And it's not always about who has the most backlinks. It's all about getting how, who has the most quality backlinks. Well, let's take a look at the keywords they rank for. So we got Liberty West Trucking. All these different trucking keywords that they appear in the searches. It doesn't look like they get much traffic from it. And to rank in the map portion of Google, one thing you'll need are citations. A citation is the number of times your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. You want to make sure that you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. But sometimes having way more citations than your competition will always leapfrog you in the rankings. And we're going to go into a heat map now where it can we'll tell you some tips about how you can get leapfrog, how you can get better in the listings. So what this heat map tool does, when somebody's searching for freight, the map listing is going to rank differently depending on where it's ranked. So here's for you for lift freight. So you see here, like, you're, you have a green, like, right in here by Adelisa. But when you go out west to, like, Iowa City or even Cedar Rapids, you're in the red. So you're, it's not ranking the same. So when you, somebody's searching for freight, it's going to be different. So some ways to turn those reds into greens and all the other company, uh, all the other colors to greens. Definitely adding more citations helps. And even build, building up the website with lots of authoritative content will help too. It make location pages too. So you can do one for like Iowa City, Cedar Rapids. Um, you can go out to Des Moines. That's another one. Davenport. Uh, let's see, was it Columbus Station? Definitely try to think of all the locations where you want to get business in, too. You want to have pages for that. Getting the strong, relevant backlinks. Even on your map listing, too, there's different features on there. Google likes for businesses to fill out. So you want to make sure that you have, like, your hours, a description about what you do, 500-word description. Um, even, like, having at least 30 geotagged photos is another thing, too. You can take a lot of old photos, upload go online and put geotag coordinates from it so you can go like right here 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 to here depending on where the map is even taking pictures of locations your trucks are in too is another one too because if you take pictures of that on your smartphone then they'll have coordinates already in there and you can upload those to your map listing um you can also there's a feature in google maps to go with my business where you can post similar to facebook so that's another avenue we can make a lot of posts Yep, and another thing too that helps is getting more reviews. The more five star reviews you get, that will like help. That will, and that's another thing Google favors. If you got like to 35 star reviews, you couldn't like Google will see that and be like, oh, you're doing everything else right. You you have a strong website. You got great backlinks. Your, your map listing has all the things that we like, and you're getting all these rave reviews. We have to expose you in all these different areas. Even like after after each client or customer, you can. Ask them to say, hey, were you happy with your services? So can you leave us a five-star review on Google? That def definitely encourage that.
So I hope this was helpful and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you.